it's been a while since I posted a video so I thought I would make one and I have stuff filmed but I am really tired so I'm doing an easy new video in the meantime there are videos I think they seem like a cop out and um, they are essentially listing youtubers that you know or that you like and and talking about how you found youtube and why you're on it why you make videos and how you've succeeded if that so they've always been in the back of my mind as something i could do but it seemed a bit boring and because i'm tired but i want to make a video tonight i'm falling back on that let us begin let us begin let us begin Finding YouTube. How YouTube found me. By the way, I wrote this all very late one night in an instant message conversation and I saved it and then I added a bit at the end and it's very emotive. Hope you like it. It was early 2006 and I was killing time online looking at funny viral videos for some gentle laughs in between school socialising and Sims 2 marathons. When one day, I stumbled upon a humble video by a girl who called herself Brookers. Hark! She had made a short skit about MySpace with her sister and thus became my first taste of YouTube.com. From there on, I stumbled upon other popular users I would grow to know and love and hate. Um, Smosh, the wine cone. As the sands of time flowed through the hourglass, this online community grew and developed into a small faux nation of friends, enemies, lovers, and perverts. This is the world I grew to love. Nearly a year after initially wanting to, as I lost my firewire and can get videos off my camera, I finally posted my first video, and, and, and gasp. <laughs> The rush of being watched flowed through my veins as my first Vive videos struggled to gain 300 views. I must admit they were terrible attempts. And they exist only as private memories and hidden files I will never be able to delete from my hard drive. Alas, I must reflect further on my YouTube memories. There were flitters of excitement upon infatuation with various users. Boheme, Ginger Ann, Lonely Girl 15. I still watch it. Coco Nino, she has. She has. I lived through the Emo Kid 21 Ohio saga and felt the pain of deceit. After a month or two of watching the video blogger Tony Stockett from a distance, I made my approach. My first video response. Except for one I did for Paper Lilies. And I've taken it down. The, the Tony one. I've taken it down. This response was welcomed with affection and the heartwarming words Oceans are lame. But oceans could not separate Tony Stockett and I for long. For I moved across the Atlantic to his land mass. And as I did, I learned of a new land. Stick am. Um, and I stopped writing so epically at this point. So I'm going to finish it now. I pretty much spent January talking to Tony from him and his stick and room. I met a bunch of other cool people. I gradually made less crappy videos, sort of. They're still pretty bad. But they're not as bad as they were, like the ones that I've taken down really bad mm, yeah if you think I'm bad now and then I met all of these people that I've been talking to online at this huge socially awkward gathering and now Stickham's kind of dead and buried not really I'm, I, I go on every now and then and I still talk to people every day and I make videos like once a week once every two weeks that's pretty much it the end I like my hair today. I do. I tried to do a vlog of me, I was using one of those pore strips across your nose and I tried to make a vlog, I was like, I can so talk for 15 minutes where I've got this on my nose and I'll pull it up at the end and it'll be so funny, but then I didn't do it. I like this hair. I'm just gonna cut this up and post it. I can't make a good video. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> Bye.